Hello everyone, we are live from Microsoft Ignite where Microsoft did a pretty big announcement that changed the licensing for SharePoint Advanced Management and lots of you have reached out to me to ask me questions. So you know what? I decided to do a quick video to answer all of your questions and because I do not have a PhD in licensing, which is required with Microsoft, I decided to bring in a very special guest. Dave Minassian from Microsoft, product leader on the SharePoint OneDrive team. Yep. Thank you so much for being here. First time on the channel. For those of you that do not know you, and you had quite a few things at Ignite that people watch live, so I'm sure almost everybody knows you, but can you quickly introduce yourselves? Hi, folks. I am uh, Dave Minassian. Um, I drive of SharePoint, OneDrive, especially the admin uh, experiences across Microsoft 365. And right now, I'm super focused, eagle eye focused uh, on SharePoint advanced management and really unblocking our customers um, to deploy Copilot really quickly. So. Awesome, man. This week at Ignite, Microsoft did a pretty big announcement that SharePoint Premium Advanced Management is included as part of the Copilot for M365 license. Can you tell us a bit more about that? And more importantly, why did you decide to do it? What's the reasoning behind? Yeah, that's a great question. So um, we have, you know, we spoke to lots and lots of customers. In fact, I've been doing that for the past seven, eight months, um, just talking to customers, helping them with deploying Copilot. And one of the things that um, has uh, constantly been, a, you know, topic is oversharing. Oversharing has been a huge, huge topic. Um, and customers are really are really moving forward, right? We're really trying yeah. to uh, resolve it. Um, and SharePoint Advanced Management has a lot of the capabilities to help them do that. So licensing has been a little bit of a barrier for us, uh, to say the least, yep. like you mentioned earlier. Um, and uh, to kind of smooth things out, Microsoft just decided to, hey, we're going to just give you all the capabilities you need uh, to really help you with the governance, help you uh, smooth things out and deploy. Awesome. So, and in addition to that, which I know is a bit outside of your team, Viva Insights is now also included with Copilot. So uh, you get that pre-Copilot kind of getting ready, you get Copilot, and then you have the ROI mm -hmm. measuring with Viva Insights, which is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. But with any Microsoft licensing announcement, I think people cannot believe that <laughs> things are not more expensive, they're cheaper, Yeah. that I received a lot of questions. So, yep. you also have a background on licensing, right? Yeah. I saw you worked for the National Licensing yeah. Association. Or of a government licensing. No, yeah. the government yeah. licensing, but still, yeah. you know licensing. Yes, yes. So my first question, and this one is a bit more complicated, so let me read it here. So somebody sent me a link on Microsoft Learn that says there are some features in SharePoint Advanced Management that are included with your M365 Copilot license. To get the full version of SAM and use all the features, you need the SharePoint Premium Advanced Management license. So can you confirm, is it all of SAM that is included in SharePoint Premium Advanced Management? Is it only data access governance or what is really included as part of that Copilot for M365 license? Yeah, that's a great question. So uh, the latest announcement, as many of our leaders mentioned in the last couple of days, uh, all of SharePoint advanced management as it is today, um, and every all the features that we've talked about throughout the session uh, are included as part of Copilot. So um, I can't speak for the future of what's going to happen, but uh, at least the features that are really designed to get you deployed and unblocked and moving forward uh, are included as part of. Uh, uh, that uh, that uh, is yep. amazing. And already that's a set of like 30 features. Yeah, yeah. It's a uh, huge amount of features. Day, yeah. So yep. it's amazing. Now, the other super popular question I have is, is there a minimum? So let's say, well, I have a client that has about a thousand users. They're running a co-pilot pilot projects, which is always funny to say. Uh, they bought 50 licenses, but with some licensing before you needed to, if you have a thousand users, you needed to have a thousand that's SAM right. licenses. Right. So how will it work? Is there a minimum number of co-pilot licenses? Is it a minimum percentage or how do you decide when do you get SAM for all the tenants? Yeah, you know, Vlad, we actually went back and forth quite a bit to figure out um, how we want to structure the licensing around this. Uh, and uh, we just decided to go with a simple route. 
and okay. uh, have no barrier. Because the whole point of Sam, including Sam in the first place, is to really unblock customers and just get them moving moving forward, get to the point deployment. Uh, so we decided to just take out all the stops and really just offer it. Yeah, regardless of how many Copilot licenses you have. So we do also have, uh, sorry, we do also have uh, quite a few customers that are testing the ground. Okay. Um, and they just have maybe one or two licenses just to see how things work, see what type of, you know, potentially overshare things that they're, they're coming up. Yeah. So we really want to kind of empower all customers, regardless of whether you have one license or hundred licenses or thousands of licenses uh, to really kind of get you moving forward. Awesome. And now, of course, the other question we got often is, when is this available? I actually oh, had somebody ping me today on LinkedIn. Shout out to Corey, if ever you're watching this, is, Vlad, I saw your tweets. I'm going to the SharePoint Admin Center. Where is it? How do I activate it? Is there a PowerShell or something? Is this available today or when will we get this live? Right. That's a great question. So we actually uh, announced it today uh, and the there is a trial available okay. today that you can sign up for 30 days for free uh, and do everything that we're talking about. We have a preview program that is still active and you can sign up and see all the new capabilities that are upcoming uh, to Sam. Uh, as far as when you will see it light up in your tenant, uh, we're going to start the rollout uh, somewhere towards uh, the beginning of January. Ooh, and, awesome. And so the, soon. Soon, very soon, yeah. And then uh, we're going to do it in waves because uh, we have a lot of Copilot customers. Uh, so we want to make sure that we don't stress the, the, the backend yeah. systems too much. And we do it in a rollout so that nothing breaks. Awesome. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, it's probably going to take between January all the way to March uh, to get wow. it. Wow. Oh, yeah. Okay. That, so yeah. by the way, for anybody watching, remember, like they said, you can get a trial and after the first 30 days, you can even extend it for Absolutely. another 30 days. So if you do it at the end of November, that should bring you December, end of January. Good chance it might be in your tenant. Yep. by the time that trial expires. And I'm sure if not, you can, what I usually do is talk to Microsoft support and say, yeah, hey, that's can I get another month, please? Uh, because I need it. And usually they're nice to me. Yeah. No guarantees, but usually they're nice to me. Yeah, if you talk to your account teams, et cetera, just connect with Microsoft. Microsoft is there to help uh, help you kind of get moving, and et cetera, especially with the recent announcement. Um, you know. We're definitely uh, that we really, really want to help you guys, uh, so that Sam is not a barrier. Um, so, yeah, definitely connect to your account teams uh, and see what what they can do. Yep. Talking about the account team, the other question I got often is, I signed up for a one year Sam license. I'm paying for it every month, or maybe I prepaid. How does it work? And I know you're on the product side. I am. You yeah. might not have to answer to that yet, but. Is it going to be a refund? Is it going to be a starting once it's shipped, uh, you'll get it for free? Do you have any idea about how to implement that in the back or not on the product side? Yeah, so from the product side, uh, my job is to build a product that customers want. Uh, right. So um, uh, I think the uh, as far as the licensing part, uh, just please reach out to your account teams. Uh, depending on the your terms, your ca your contract, um, the size of your organization, your commitment to Copilot, that's all going to play a role in, um, you know, how the whole thing is going to, how, how the, like the situation will work out, right? Yeah. So please just connect with your account teams. I think that's the, that's what I would recommend to do. Yep. And for smaller customers, do they connect with Microsoft support? Yes. And uh, take it from there. They might introduce you to somebody. Yep. They'll give you, tell you how to do it. That's right. Be, That's right. We'll all find out in January. Maybe there'll be a process. I'm yeah. sure there'll be a process published. There, there will be, yeah. So we are working on an actual uh, uh, official public documentation and processes in place. Uh, so, and they are going to be rolling out slowly okay. uh, in the next month or so. Uh, so yeah, definitely pay attention to that. And, and as well as, you know, get your uh, conversations rolling with your account teams and see what, what what's possible for your specific situation. Um, and if you're a smaller company, definitely open up some tickets and, uh, and ask for support. So, yeah. Awesome. I think we covered everything licensing for Lisa. Sam. Yep. Uh, by the way, I know you're on the Sam team, but good news since you're here for licensing, 
Also good news on the Power Platform side for managed environments, for the inventory page. I'll do another video on that, but Microsoft has been really good licensing wise for us this yeah. week. I love it. Yes, also good, good news. But another product or feature you're managing is Copilot in the SharePoint Admin Center. Yes, yes. Now, for those of you that missed the news, Microsoft has announced that us admins will not be left out of all the AI fun. We will get Copilot in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, in the SharePoint Admin Center, and in the Teams Admin Center. So M365 Admin Center, currently in private preview. Yep. Uh, so that, I know some customers are testing it. You're working on the SharePoint side of things. I am. What can you tell people so they're excited once that is live? What, what are they going to be able to do and when? Yeah, so we're actually working towards enabling the SharePoint admins to, uh, one, be able to execute simple tasks um, via Copilot, via natural language, okay, cool. across the entire SharePoint admin center. You can initiate different reports, et cetera, just by asking the Copilot. Um, and then the other part of this is going to be analysis, because uh, as, as you know, LMs are very, very good at analyzing large amounts of data. Uh, we have uh, incorporated um, skills like AI insights that can look at large reports and come up with patterns and, and recommend recommended actions, et cetera. And in the near future, you'll be able to actually execute these actions at scale uh, in much larger bulk ways than you can actually do it in the admin center today uh, across your all the different reports and different uh, uh, things that are available to you within the SharePoint admin center. On top of that, with the SAM integration, yeah. uh, we're actually bringing all the goodness of SAM uh, to Copilot in a form of skills. Okay. So uh, you're going to be able to kind of uh, just ask questions like, hey, Copilot, tell me, you know, or show me the sites that are potentially overshared. Okay. And Copilot will actually be able to go reference the different data points, different reports that you have, produce a custom reports. Uh, and then also help you initiate different skills, bulk skills, uh, like R, uh, like uh, RCD or Rack, uh, Access Review, et cetera, uh, on all the you know sides that are found that are pretty overshared. So a lot of automation capabilities that are going to come around in the next few months. That is pretty yeah. amazing. And you said next few months. Yeah. So we're going to start. Um, so we're going to start with some of the simple skills. And as you know, like okay. most of the complex things are. Uh, a combination of very simple things, yep. right? So, uh, so we're going to start with simple actions, uh, test those out, make sure that the foundation is in place and everything is working. Uh, so that should be rolling out around end of January. Okay. Um, so it's within next two months. And then right after that, we're going to start rolling out a lot of the more complex that combine the different skills together that you can't really do in the admin center today. Uh, nice. Without PowerShell or some more complex uh, scripting. Hey, I love PowerShell. I love, comp I love PowerShell, but yeah. if I can just ask yeah, the pilot yeah. to do it, yeah, it'll yeah. be even better. Exactly. So, exactly. Uh, basically, by Microsoft 365 Conference, which happens in May, yeah. a wow. lot of the stuff should be live. And yep. hopefully, you'll have a session there and I hope so too, yeah. show it we'll live to everybody. But thank you so much for your time today. Really amazing insights, uh, really amazing announcements. Yeah. Uh, I know you had three sessions. Well, a pre-day, one session that was so popular, you had to do it twice. That's right. Uh, <laughs> this week, because getting ready for Copilot is so popular. So I'll make sure I'll link it in the description below. You'll all be able to watch it on demand after, which is pretty amazing with Ignite. And Let's hopefully see you all at the Microsoft 365 Community Conference in May, where all the things they announced today will hopefully be live in every tenant across the world. So yep. we're not going to talk about what's coming. We're going to talk about how to use it exactly today. So well, we'll have some things that are coming as well. Uh, of course, it's an evolving product, right? Yeah, lots of investment. But yes, so absolutely. I would be very disappointed if your roadmap yeah. is empty. <laughs> but thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it and enjoy the rest of the conference. I know you have another one today. Yeah. So yep. I'll let you go. Thank you so much, Dave. Thank you. Have a great one. Yeah.